March Madness. Let's talk about some players. For Campbell, Chris Clemens. Man, he is an offensive show all to himself. He's unbelievable. Leading scorer in the Big South, first team all-conference, has a great motor. He may be the fastest player in the country, baseline to baseline. Now for Asheville, as we said, co-regular season champions, Ahmad Thomas is a tremendous defensive player. Player of the year in the league defensively, also first team all-conference. He also leads them in scoring and rebounding. He is terrific defensively, plays the point in their 1-3-1. He's, he's as good as anybody really in this league in America too. He can play for anybody. Now we take a look at the starting lineups for Asheville, Macy Oteague, freshman of the year. Kevin Venata, who started every game this season, not in it, he's ill. Kyrie Hamer is a guy, a senior that we'll look out for. He's a regular double figure scorer for the Campbell Camels who are trying to pull off an upset here. Mike Eads, Dave Davis, J.W. Lucas, our officials, Asheville, the higher seed in white. Boy, Venata not in the lineup. A junior who is a double figure scorer in league play. It's going to be interesting how they start the game without him. It's a big deal, Mike. It, you know, he starts every game, and it, it could be a game changer. But you have to have other people step up, and Raquan Miller, who has been a bit inconsistent of late, hits his first shot. That's a good sign. That's a great sign. And we just mentioned it. it's a game changer without Vanad, and Miller comes in and drills one. Andrew Udy is number 25. Their post player, and here's Clemens for a shot. It nails a three. <laughs> Off balance, well defended. He's a player. Chris Clemens is a sophomore from Raleigh, and he's already getting his way into the Campbell record books as a sophomore. Lately, Mike Campbell's played a lot of three-quarter court, half-court trap into the zone. They change defenses a lot. Doing a nice job right now. Here's David Robertson. Miller. Miller got the start instead of Venata. And at the end of the shot clock, Ahmad Thomas with a bucket. He's a good player. That was not an easy shot. Turnover and on the breakout. Can Weeks catch up to it? Will Weeks, a guy that's been playing really well of late, number 32. That's Corey Gensler down with it for Campbell. The freshman has had a good year. There are some good young players on this Campbell team. Clemens has hit his first two shots. Well, and you know, he's leading scorer in the, in the league, fifth in the country. He could play at any level, Mike. All Big South first team, all academic team in the Big South as the postseason awards have been named this past week. Pass too tall for the freshman Teague. Ash will turn over. will give it back to Campbell. There's Kevin Venata. Boy, if you're a player, you know, you, you try to stay healthy all year and take precautions, but he's come down with a sore throat and starts the game on the bench for the first time this year. Clemens. Clemens averaging a little over 23 a game in league play. <laughs> How do you like that? He has scored all of Campbell's seven points to start this game. Well, and, and he can do that. And, and you have to guard him 94 feet. He can shoot it. He can drive it. He'll dunk on you. And they do have some other guys who can score. They Shane do. Whitfield averages in double figures. And we talked about Kyrie ha Hamer, how he's been playing well. During the regular season, Asheville won both meetings against this Campbell team as Ahmad Thomas hits his second field goal. Not many guards, Mike, can take the ball into the lane, shoot a, a jump hook like Thomas just did, and that, that's two tough shots he's made already. Asheville has won 10 of their last 11 games, and that foul is going to be on Ahmad Thomas, his first. 
When these two teams play in the regular season, uh, Asheville beat Campbell in Asheville in late January. And a couple of weeks ago, they won in Bowie's Creek, 66-53. But in that game, Clemens wasn't able to play. He was hurt. Only game all year he's not played in. Also, Kyrie Hamer did not play, so they were they were really shorthanded in that last matchup with these Asheville Bulldogs. Yeah, I'd feel much better with uh, Clemens in the lineup. <laughs> he scored every <laughs> point so far. Unreal. Gosh. My goodness. Are we going to see a Chris Clemens show today? It certainly started out that way. So far, so good. All nine points belong to number three. Well, that was a great pass and one. Raquan Miller. Nice give and go, Weeks, with a nice pass. You see Weeks get open right there. Nice bounce pass, no look. And, and this Asheville team, Mike, passes the ball as well, all five guys as, as well as anybody in the country. Now, how do you like Miller? I like it. Miller is a guy, the last regular season game, they beat Liberty by 18 points. Miller, though, in that game was 0 for 4. Here he's come out in the early going and scored six points. Well, he, and he plays about 19, 20 minutes a game. So, uh, you know, he's, he's used to being out there on the floor, but new, new role today in the lineup. Alex Wanuck is in the game, junior from Cary, number two in white. That's what Asheville will do to you. They are a very good defensive team. Miller. <laughs> Offensive rebound, but the foul is going to be on Hamer, his first. Folks, we got a good game going here. First game of the Big South Tournament. 10-9, Asheville leads it. This is where Hart rules height. Where adversity turns to fuel. Through challenges. Challenges. Challenges are embraced. And limits are pushed. This is what happens. This is what happens. When hard work. Hard work. When hard work. Meets fearlessness. This is where bonds are unbreakable. And excellence is earned. This is. This is. This is the Big Cell. Where winners are made. Love a final countdown. It's what you do. If you want to save 15% or more on car insurance, you switch to Geico. It's what you do. BigSouthSports.com is the source for all your conference information, news, results, and so much more, plus video on the Big South Network with all streamed events free and available on your mobile devices. While you're there, vote on the UTS fan poll, watch the latest Hardy Star plays, and stay current with everything Big South. All this and more at the new BigSouthSports.com. Chris Clemens has all nine Campbell points. <laughs> Well, and he does it just about every way. There's a three-point shot. Nice crossover there. Pulls up and sticks it in his eye, and then he can take it to the basket, too. And we will see him dunk the ball today before the game's out. Wow, at 5'7", and that's stretching it a little bit. The big story for Asheville has been Raquan Miller, who was inserted into the starting lineup for Kevin Venata, who is ill. And he's responded with six early points. And that's huge, too. It, it, you know, really a different feel when you, you somebody that's been in the lineup every game is out at, like, Banana. Giacomo Vili, the senior from Italy, is into the game. 
Mogolato in the game for Campbell, and he quickly picks up a foul. Zilly to Wanuck down low. And Wanuck battled all around Shane Whitfield and finally got the shot up over him. Whitfield, a good defensive player. Boy, Wanuck really had to earn that one. Here's Mogolato, not a great scorer, but very good defensive post player. This is a hard offense to guard, Mike. The, there's a got away with a travel, but still a turnover. Couple of early turnovers for Campbell. <laughs> and Asheville able to convert off the turnover. Wanuck off the bench with a couple of points. He missed four games with a sprained ankle and just returned for the last two regular season games. So, well, the ankle looks pretty good here. It's tourney time. He's back. Absolutely. Ralph, you coached for a long time. Do you find that tournament time kind of sometimes brings out a little different energy in some players? No question, and it's needed. It's, it's a new season. You can throw everything out that happened early and, and gives everybody a chance at, at postseason honors. It's, it's what it's all about. Gensler, the freshman, went for the steal for Campbell. Ahmad Thomas back into the Asheville lineup for David Robertson. There's Kevin McGeehan in his fourth season, longtime assistant at Richmond and building a program at Campbell. Not the Big South season they wanted, 7 and 11, but you look at the young players. Clemens just a sophomore. Gensler's a freshman. Those guys can score. And Clemens already has 1,300 points. It takes most guys a career to get to 1,000, and he did it in his sophomore season. Zilly. Here's Wanuck. Boy, Wanuck's come off the bench. Six points. That's right at his average. Asheville has now scored 11 unanswered points. Wow. Well, they, they've been a terrific offensive team all year long, and they can do it a number of different ways. They have so many guys that can score. Offensive foul, that's going to be on Mogolato. That's his second. What a job Nick McDevitt has done at Asheville. And I think well-deserved being named Big South Coach of the Year. Absolutely. He's done not a good job, a great job since he's taken over. And, and uh, you know, he's he just, you know, the proof's in the pudding. They, they love playing for him. They lost some really important freshmen last year that transferred out. They replaced them with good players, and here they are again. Udy down with it for Campbell. Still, Clemens has all nine Campbell points. And they've hit a bit of a drought here. Boy, Clemens threw it one way, and Marcus Burke just into the game went another. Yeah, Marcus zigged when he was supposed to zag, and, and you know, a lot of pressure on Clemens. Leading score in the league at just over 23 a game, but sometimes he has to score for them to be effective. He needs some help right now. Thomas still belong to Asheville. Hamer's back into the game now for Campbell. And David Robertson, who is an excellent three-point shooter, number 13 in white. He's had some big threes this year, hit one in the final seconds. It's in the game with Radford to overtime. Only loss down the stretch of the season for Asheville was at Gardner-Webb on February 23rd. Had a great win here against Winthrop in double overtime. There's Burks. Boy, it's just not happening right now for the Camels. Well, not great wow. dish to Will Weeks. Great is right. That was nice. Bounce pass, bounce pass in traffic. 
Let's talk about that game against Winthrop that was here on this floor. 104 101 was uh, that score but Asheville has been hot down the stretch. They're hot today with a nine point lead over Campbell. This Big South Network game is brought to you in part by Hardee's. Eat like you mean it. By Ut Snacks. Get snacking. And by Geico. Big South alumni can save even more with an alumni discount from Geico. Visit geico.com slash Big South today. This Big South Network game is brought to you in part by Hardee's. Eat like you mean it. By Ut Snacks. Get snacking. And by Geico. Big South alumni can save even more with an alumni discount from Geico. Visit geico.com slash Big South today. Alec Gwinnuk has been big off the bench, Ralph, for Asheville. Well, he had to work hard for that bucket, but he made it count. He's a... He's really come off. He's really helped him a ton. He's also making nice assists, and he just—he's doing exactly what Nick Devin needs him to. Hit all three of his shots, and again, uh, he missed a stretch of games right at the end of the season with a sprained ankle. Came back for the last two, but is uh, obviously fully healthy now, and that is a good sign for Asheville. Huge sign, and you know somebody's got to pick up the slack with Vanetta out, and looks like Winuck is doing it. Winuck and Raquan Miller. It's good when you have depth, and Asheville does. Campbell needs a bucket. They have been on a long drought here. Shot clock. I'm not sure they were aware that the shot clock was. Winding down, but another good defensive stand by Asheville. We talk about Asheville's offense. They're averaging 80 points a game in conference play, but their defense, particularly in that last game against Liberty, has been great. They held Liberty to 45 points in that game, and and, and Asheville is is as good. I think they're the best defensive team uh, in the conference. Very different than a lot of other ones. Liberty's a good defensive team, but Asheville can play a lot of different defenses. We haven't seen the 1-3-1 yet, but. They've got a great 1-3-1 defense. We told you Robertson, a shooter, missed that. Campbell's now gone almost five minutes without a point. Well, and Clemens is out of the lineup now. I don't expect him to be out long, but maybe that forces the rest of the team to say, I got to get some points on the board here. They, they need somebody to, and here comes Clemens back in. Well, he's the only one that scored in this first half for Campbell. I'd get him back in, too. Yeah, Campbell needs to, they, Clemens is a great player. They need to find another option. And Hamer with the basketball might be it. Good defense on Hamer. And another empty possession for Campbell. Here's Teague, the freshman. Hamer stepped on the sideline. The ball will belong to the Bulldogs. Bucket here will give them a double-digit lead in this first half. 
Campbell beat Presbyterian in the first round of this tournament in Bowie's Creek on Tuesday night. The final was 81-62, but they had a great first half, scoring 45 points. They led 45-17 over the Blue Hose at the break. But this first half has not gone like the one did Tuesday night. Here Campbell changes in the zone defense now. That's been good for them. Got to stop. They needed that. Robertson's a 47% yeah. yeah. shooter from behind the arc. He's missed two now. Well, I mentioned earlier, Mike, UNC Asheville has a lot of guys that can score. They're a great passing team, so they really don't have to depend on, on one guy. That's, that's why they're hard to play against. They're hard to scout against. Can't, can't just concentrate on one guy. You know, when you're talking about Robertson, here's a guy that didn't hit a shot against Liberty and then two games ago right. had 23 points. That's the way it's been all year for this team. Weeks. Foul is going to be on Hamer, and that's going to be his second. Well, Campbell not near as deep as Asheville. They can ill afford to get guys in foul trouble like Kyrie Hamer. You're right. They don't have much margin for error, especially against a team as good as Asheville. Corey Gensler, as you saw, back in the game. His scoring has really picked up late in the season. They need him to pick it up now. Gensler's last game against Asheville, against this team, he went all 40 minutes. Had double figures. Clemens picks up his first. DeMontez Oliver into the game, another freshman. As we told you, a lot of young players on this Campbell team. The future for Kevin McGeehan and the Camels is pretty bright. Drew Rackley doesn't get a lot of minutes. Matter of fact, Rackley's in the game. He hasn't played in the last two games. So I feel really going deep on their bench. One well, an opportunity for some others to play with Banana on the bench, probably likely not to play if they hold on to this lead. They need to rest him up. That's a three. Macy Oteague, the Big South Freshman of the Year, his first field goal. So they got the Coach of the Year, the Defensive Player of the Year, the Freshman of the Year. Clemens can't hit it. You know, the other thing, Ralph, they've got three guys, Asheville does, that shoot 45% right. or better from behind right. the arc. It's a nasty team to play against, Mike. And I just mentioned you cannot concentrate on one guy. They've got a lot of gifted scorers, and they share the ball so well. All right, Ralph, now what do you do? Clemens just picked up his second foul. He's the only guy that scored in the game for Campbell. I, I leave I, him in there. It's tournament time. Yeah. you got to leave him yeah. in, don't you? And, and you do. And, and because their their lack of depth, he knows how to play with two fouls. And plus with the TV timeouts, he could get his rest when they blow the whistle we go to commercial. <laughs> and how much of an advantage is this? Asheville's now in the bonus with 9.15 to go in the half. It's a huge advantage. And the way they drive it and force help, you, sometimes you have to foul them to stop them. And Macy Oteague has been money at the line all year. 88% from the free throw line for a freshman. That's pretty good for a freshman. And it's a legitimate 88. I mean, 95 of 105 yeah. coming into the game. Yeah, largest lead. And finally, somebody other than Clemens has scored Mogo Lotto. That ends a seven minute and 30 second drought for Campbell. It allowed Asheville to build up a double digit lead. Good stop that time by the Camels. They need some of these. They do. And now, you know, 
you mentioned it, Clemens with, with two fouls. He can still be aggressive. He knows how to play without fouling. He rarely, he doesn't get many fouls offensively. Even though he can take it to the basket as hard as anybody. Clemens, catch, shoot, hit it. Look at that. His second three, he's got 12. Yeah, there's no way you can take him out. Not if you want to have any chance yeah, to win. Yeah, not if you want to win the game. Can't take him out. Nice oh. pass. Well, not great pass, an even better block shot. Clemens. <laughs> Folks, you are seeing an offensive show. And Nick McDevitt says, okay, we're going to put three guys on him or what? Hey, <laughs> they got to find out a way to slow down Chris Clemens, but Asheville leads it 23 to 16. Get social with the Big South, always uh, our growing network of fans on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and a lot more. Be part of the discussion now using hashtag Big South and connect with us through BigSouthSports.com. Follow, watch, like, and share with the Big South Conference. Chris Clemens has put on a show today. And he gets the block there. That's actually his 18th block of the season. Can you believe it? And then I told you he can go end to end as well as anybody in America, and he did it again. That was the 5'9 Clemens blocking 6'9 Giacomo Zilli. Well, and Mike, how about this? That's his 18th block of the wow. season. I mean, that's amazing. What an athlete. You know, I agree with you, Ralph. You said he thought he could play. He could play anywhere. Oh, he could. There's no question he could. Three-quarter court pressure. This has been good for Campbell last couple weeks. Played it a lot, a lot you know, a couple nights ago against Presbyterian. Good pass inside. And Thomas can't convert. Well, the play of Chris Clements have left things open for Campbell. Macy Oteague, the freshman from Cincinnati. Picks up his first foul. Last Saturday, he had his second double-double of the year. 12 points, 10 rebounds in that win over Liberty. Wow. Give me a break. <laughs> what a shot. And we've had good news for Campbell, a scoring change. One of those fouls that we thought was charged to Clemens has been charged to Marcus Burke. So the good news is, is that Clemens only has one foul. Oh, so he can get back to scoring again. <laughs> like he hasn't yeah, been already. That's right. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. This is some performance, almost beyond description, here in this first half. He's got 18 points. 
and his team has 20. Wow. Amazing, incredible, fun to watch. Really fun to watch. And what was a double digit lead, Ralph, is now a three point game. We just got a note from Mark Simpson from the uh, Big South office that Clemens has now scored more points by any player in their first two seasons in the Big South. I believe it. <laughs> the show we're seeing here. Yeah. I believe it. And now a three would tie it. Wow. And a bad pass by Whitfield. Asheville led this game, Ralph, by 14 points. But thanks to Clemens, it's a three point game. Well, Clemens is, is a special player, and, and you know, I said he needs some help, but right now he's he's doing just fine. So you're a coach. What do you do? You go to a junk defense? Do you do you try to do something to disrupt him a little bit? I mean, this is incredible. 18 of 20 points. Well, and, you know, some coaches say let's let this one guy go off and get his 30 or whatever. But if you do that with Clemens, he'll drop 50 on you. I, was, I mean, I was going to say, yeah, he, he's on his way to a 50 point yeah, game. Yeah, you're right. There you see the defensive player of the year and one, Ahmad Thomas. That describes his season and what a year it has been. Yeah, he's, he's long arms there and he anticipates well, takes it up strong, goes to the line, three point play. That foul was on Clemens, and that now is his second. The one thing Ahmad Thomas does not do well is shoot free throws. Yeah, just a 57% shooter, but he does everything else great. 95 steals on the season now for Ahmad Thomas. Clemens for three. <laughs> wow. Folks, I would get excited, but this is like, this is crazy. you know, just run of the mill stuff for Chris Clemens. Three threes in the first half. He's got 21 points right now. And the Camels have 23. How about that? I've been doing this a long time. I'm not sure I've yeah. seen this dominating of a performance by one player well, you, in a half. I was just getting ready to ask you that, Mike. You've, no, I've, you've seen some unbelievable Well, you moves. have too, and I mean, he scored every point but two. <laughs> You know, you hear the cliche, putting a team on your back. Boy, you're not kidding. Are you? you are not kidding. It's amazing. From deep. Well, you don't expect him to miss. What, well, isn't that something when you expect every shot to go in? And you do when you see Clemens play. Well, they got to stop. Bucket here ties it. A three gives him the lead. Can you believe we're tied? Wow. Clemens again. And I'll remind you, Asheville led this game by 14 points. And we're dead even at 25. Thanks to Chris Clemens. Who has given everybody here something to remember. Foul is on Mogolato. Yeah, he's got 23. There's still four and a half minutes to go in the half. That's the third foul on Moga Lotto, a junior from Nigeria, a junior college transfer. This is a very good free throw shooting team, Asheville, but Lanuck couldn't hit it. We'll have the commissioner of the Big South Conference, Kyle Kalander, stopping by to visit us halftime. Well, you knew he had a cool off sometime. Chris Clemens missing two shots in a row is a story. It is. It is tonight.
And I think, you know, his scoring has given this Campbell team a lot of energy. Foul's going to be on Macy Oteague. That's his second. 3.41 to go first half. Chris Clemens has led Campbell with 23 points. We told you March is tournament time, the Big South Women's Tournaments next week on the campus of Liberty in Lynchburg, Virginia. That's March 9th through the 12th. If you want more information about the Women's Championship, go to BigSouthSports.com slash championships. All right, one player has scored a bucket other than Clemens. Here it is. <laughs> yeah, here's a package of other scores, and that's it. Mogolato with the hammer. And Mogolato also has three personal fouls. Burke has two. Hamer has two for Campbell. For Asheville, Macy Oteague, the freshman of the year, just picked up his second foul. He's actually the leading scorer for Asheville with seven points here in this first half. But Campbell with the ball and a chance to take the lead. Wow. Who would have thought it? They went on a I, I drought. I wouldn't have thought it. Yeah, about 10 minutes ago, I wouldn't have. They went on a drought of seven and a half minutes without a point. Here's Clemens. Nuck is on him. Burt, deep three. Foul to go to the line with three shots. Well, wow, that's mm -hmm. a foul you don't want to make. It nearing the end of a shot clock. And a three point. But the follow through on it, it was a foul. So Burke at the line for three of them. And Campbell takes the lead for the first time since very early in this game. How about that? Marcus Burke is another freshman for Campbell. He's a freshman from Indianapolis. In the last game against Asheville, where Clemens and Hamer were out hurt. Burke really stepped up. He had 14 points in that game. Well, he makes all three and. Unreal. It's a three point lead and Asheville turns it over. This game has taken a dramatic turn here towards the end of the first half. And now we see a little uh, full court pressure from UNC Asheville. Here's a little zone trap by them. And Ahmad Thomas is so good at the point of their, their presses and their 1-3-1 because he's got the long arms. There's a deflection and a steal by Teague. And they've put now Thomas on Clemens. Good drive by Miller, and he's fouled. Yeah, excuse me, that, that steal was by Miller. And he's done a nice job. And, and I don't know, Mike, if he knew too long before the game if he was going to be a starter with Venata out. But he came in right off the bat, did a nice job. And again, Miller 
Did not have a great game the last time out for Asheville. Our last regular season game against Liberty was 0 for 4 and only scored one point. And I'm pretty sure Raquan Miller played for Coach Lloyd Church at McDowell High School in Marion, North Carolina. Coach Church been there forever. In the two regular season games against Campbell, Miller played significant minutes but did not score a point. Been a different story here today in this first half. Thomas dribbled the ball on the inline. Give it to Campbell. Whitfield tried to hit on the back cut. He's he's had the right idea on two back cuts for passes, but he's thrown the heater. They're pretty tough to handle. Last six minutes, Campbell's outscored Asheville 19 to 3. Gensler, he can shoot it. Boy, they needed that. Another guy scores. He's a 43% shooter from behind the arc. First points today. Well, Gensler shot it well all year long. Just a freshman. And been in double figures five of his last seven games. That is a hard foul. Fouls on De DeMontez Oliver, and look at this. Yeah, he went down hard, big thump. Will Weeks, interesting story about Weeks. This is another guy who's been playing great lately for Asheville. He's a redshirt senior from Charlotte. After 10 straight games in single digits, been in double figures, four of his last six. I was talking to some of the Asheville folks, and they say he has made it public. He realizes his basketball career is coming to an end, and he wants to leave everything he's got out on the floor. Well, he's an important player on this team. Averages you know, about six points, five rebounds, plays 26 minutes a game. And... The last time these two teams met, Weeks had 18 points. His season high. Oliver. Yeah, they caught Burke with a push off there on the rebound. And by my calculations, that's going to be number three on Burke. So Campbell in some first half foul trouble here. Mogo Lotto with three. Marcus Burke with three, and Raquan Miller, who is the leading scorer for Asheville, getting the start for Kevin Venata. Got a really interesting free throw motion. Yeah, he does. Miller's got eight points. Hell, he's made four or five free throws yeah. with that motion. Not well, bad. I'd leave him alone. Shoot 78%. Good ball movement. And the three ball goes from Marcus Burke. His first field goal. And this equals Campbell's largest lead of the game at four. Under a minute and a half to play in the first half. Here's Robertson. You know, Mike, now is the time. Remember we talked about Venata out of the lineup, uh, how different that could be. It didn't bother him at the start of the game. Raekwon Miller started off great. Ahmad Thomas, great. But now, first adversity that this team is, is facing, and they've got a 32-minute-a-game guy that started every game not in the lineup. So that's a concern. There's Absolutely. a look at him right there. Robertson at the line averages right at eight points a game, and he's the number two three-point shooter on this team. His first points here in this Big South tournament. Got four games today. Liberty and Radford right after ours, and Campbell turns it over. 
Final minute of the half. Robertson for three. That's what he does. He has made, as we said, some huge threes for this team. Well, they needed that, too. Gives him the lead back. They've gone cold. And Clemens hasn't scored in a while. And uh, But, oh, yeah, he's got 23. Step back, nails it. <laughs> I, think, I think he heard you, Ralph. Yeah, he did. He's coachable. I love it. Shot clock is dark. Asheville could hold for the final shot down a point. Asheville led by 14 points. Or Chris Clements has had one heck of a half. Robertson for three again, not that time. Well, it turned into a great half, the Chris Clemens show. They had 25 points. That was an incredible performance. As good as I've ever seen in one half. Are you kidding me? Well, we got a game, folks. What do you expect? It's March. It's tournament time. Game one of the Big South Conference. We're at halftime. Campbell going for an upset. Leads out. Pepsi-Cola. Ready to start the second half. Really interesting. Of Campbell, only two of the starters scored. <laughs> Raquan Miller led Asheville with nine points in that first half. Campbell with the opening possession. Hamer, one of those guys who didn't score. He's capable of lighting it up. Whitfield, another one that didn't score. Steele. Miller, great defensive play. And Clemens is going to be whistled for the foul. Well, that was one of those half two fouls. That saved a layup. I'm not sure, though, if you're Chris Clemens, that Kevin McKeegan wouldn't just as soon let that uh, bucket happen. Well, and, and that's a great point, Mike, because they're going to need him. But another. Good defensive play. That's the sixth steal of Asheville uh, in this game. Campbell has no steals. And the first points of the second half go to the freshman of the year, Macy Oteague, his second three today. Just like that, Asheville's got the lead back. Wow. First points for Kyrie Hamer, who averages over nine a game. That's a big time play. Macy Oteague fouled on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. Yo, Macy Oteague, so many good players, offensive players on this UNC Asheville team. And then Teague at times has carried this team offensively. He's had so many big moments. You wouldn't think he'd have to do that with Ahmad Thomas and Banata and all the players on this team. But what an addition he's been to, to the Bulldogs. He had 30 points in a game against Longwood, 29 against UNC Greensboro. At one point this year, he had 29 straight free throws without a miss. He's four for four today. Asheville by two. Hamer. Uh, How about Kyrie Hamer? Did not score in the first half, has the first four points of the second. Shot the little running one-hander that time. Tough shot. Miller. Campbell got a stop and a chance to take the lead back. Clemens off balance. Wow. I mean, he was falling to his left. Hey, that, that was a tough shot. Clemens now has four three-pointers. And Robertson able to drive and answer. Robertson had 20 
three points the last time these two teams met. You know, he's kind of a silent assassin for this team. He's one guy that a lot of teams really don't pay attention to often, and, and that's just what he likes because he'll kill you. Asheville got out-rebounded in the first half. Robertson went down and came out. But again, you saw that possession. So many good passes for UNC Asheville. This is a gifted passing team. Clemens off balance and a little short that time. Good pass. And Weeks, the receiving end of that pass. He's got six points. I don't think there were a lot of people who expected this. As Hamer, Hamer's offense has come to life here in the second half. It sure has, and great execution in their you know, open court, Princeton style, lots of back cuts offense are getting exactly what they want. Teague's wide open. Uh, and he makes Campbell pay. That's the third three for Teague. Teague is the leading three-point shooter on this Asheville team. They got a lot of weapons, Mike. And again, we'll remind you, Kevin Venata, a double-figure scorer, has not played today. He is ill. He'd started every game this season, but on the bench. That's going to be an offensive foul on Shane Whitfield. And we've got a timeout, 15-57 to go here in the game. Asheville's retaking the lead. The Bulldogs up by two over the Camels. This Big South Network game is brought to you in part by Pepsi. Say it with Pepsi. By Phil. This Big South Network game is brought to you in part by Pepsi. Say it with Pepsi. By Phillips Lighting, the official campus lighting partner of the Big South Conference. By Sunbelt Rentals, we have equipment for that. And by Marriott, the official hotel partner of the Big South Conference. The last time a seven seed beat a two seed in the Big South Tournament, it was two years ago, Gardner-Webb beat High Point 72-71 in overtime. What are you saying? I'm saying we might have another close game here I today. Hear I'm not saying we're going to have an upset. I but hear you. Right now it looks close. Hey, I'm loving it. Great game. What an opener for this tournament. Asheville, bucket here, give them a two-possession lead. And Kevin Venata in the lineup for Asheville, Mike. First time today, number 10 in white. Weeks. See what he can give him. He is ill. 
did not start did not play in the first half. Clemens has not scored here in this second half. This time in the first half he already had double digits. Shane Whitfield with the turnover. That's the 12th turnover of the game for Campbell. They have turned it over a bit. They have. So it's Wanuck, Teague, Robertson, Ahmad Thomas, and Kevin Venata on the floor for Asheville. Boy, they move that oh, ball. They do. Great passing team. And really, Venata is kind of a glue guy, Mike. He's, he, he makes everybody better. That was a nice pass there for the open three. Assist to Venata. And Clemens answered. I was mistaken a moment ago. That is his second three of the half. So he is now tied or will tie the tourney record with the next field goal he makes. He's going to set some records today. He sure is. Clemens now with 31 points. In fact, the most a Campbell player has ever scored in the conference tournament is Henry Wilson. He had 32 in 1987 against UNC Asheville. So Clemens won away, and that had gone down. He'd have had a new Campbell record. And Scott Neely also had 32 for Campbell against Radford in 94. Maceo Teague. Teague's got four threes today. Great three-point shooter. The freshman of the year. Good pass inside, and UD blew the layup. But got it back, stuck with it. Give him some credit. I do. UD, who leads the Big South in blocked shots, doesn't give you a lot of offense. But able to come through there and tie the game at 50. Wow. Wow, what a follow oh, shot by Ahmad Thomas. Those long arms, they help him in a lot of ways. They help him defensively, helped him right there, get the put back. The game against Liberty last time out for Asheville. Thomas, as Udy nails his second field goal in a row, Thomas. For his career now, he has over 1,000 points and 500 rebounds. Three times he was Big South Player of the Week. And he's got the ball down low and another two. And another assist. Again, this is a great passing team, not a good passing team. Last time against Campbell, Ahmad Thomas had his season low of six points. Now he's bypassed that today and is in double figures. That foul's on Thomas, his second foul. And Campbell will go to the free throw line. It'll be Clemens to the line. 31 points today. Did you say the record was 32? Yes, sir. It's about to be tied. Now that, that ties the uh, Campbell scoring record in the Big South tournament with Henry Wilson in 1987 and Scott Neely in 1994. The conference tournament scoring record, one game is 36 points by Michael Kessens back uh, for Longwood in, a couple years ago. Give me the odds Clemens is going to break that today. I think he's got a pretty good shot. Yeah. <laughs> I agree with you. Let's put it in the bank. All tied at 54. Wanuck. He's had a couple of great passes, and now he drives and scores. Well, I ain't getting a him, nice play. Getting him back and healthy has been big for Asheville. That was a nice play. And again, they spread the floor so well, you got to pay attention to the shooters. That opens up driving lanes for him. And he's a big that can put it on the floor. Most bigs uh, don't guard guys putting it on the floor very well. Clemens. Teague the rebound. Here's Thomas. Good pass by Thomas. Wanuck again. 
Now, we mentioned Munuk missed four games with an injury. He came back in the last two, but he didn't score. So this is the first time in six games that he has scored, and he's got 10 points. And here, here's finally the 1-3-1 one, one for Asheville that is just deadly with Thomas at the point. This is a very good defense for them. I knew we'd see it at some point. Campbell handled it great. Udy scores. He's got six all here in the second half. And we're back to a one possession game. 11.23 to go. Love a final countdown. It's what you do. If you want to save 15% or more on car insurance, you switch to Geico. It's what you do. Marriott is now the official hotel partner of the Big South Conference. For the best rates, book directly with Marriott by heading to BigSouthSports.com slash Marriott, and you will support Big South student athletes in the process. That's BigSouthSports.com slash Marriott. You think if I give my honored guest awards number for Marriott, I'll get some points? I think you would. I do. <laughs> Well, our game's been tied 10 times. We've had 10 lead changes. And Asheville, without Chris Clemens for Campbell, would have broken this game open in the first half. They had a 14-point lead. But Clemens, who now has 33 points, <laughs> three away from the Big South tournament record. Offensive foul on Ahmad Thomas. I think that's going to be his third. His third personal foul, and we've got another timeout. Asheville up two, but they got to be worried about Ahmad Thomas now with three fouls.
number of folks made it down the mountain from Asheville to watch the team that was 15 and three in the regular season along with Winthrop but the tiebreaker goes to Winthrop as the top seed you know I like this format regular season champion coming here I love it I love it and you know how about going into the last game three teams tied you know for first in the league and it and the tiebreaker ended up being a a Gardner win and high point game that's how it just ended up deciding that Winthrop gets to host I'm glad you understood it it was it I was didn't pretty, say I understood it, was it. pretty pretty complicated <laughs> yeah. Campbell the tire take the lead with this possession Ama Thomas out of the lineup yeah, with those three fouls, I think you you, you got to rest him a little bit. Yep, yeah. good move, and that, that puts Maceo Teague at the point of this 1-3-1. One, one. And also taking a break was Chris Clemens, but he is right back in there. Clemens had 25 at the break. He's got 33 now. And Kevin Venata still in the lineup for Asheville. Good to see him out there. Burke for three. Other than Clemens, the offense has not been easy to come by for the Camels. Teague. Good defensive play by Hamer, but Maceo Teague stuck with it. Wow, yeah, that's just bad luck for Campbell. Good play by Hamer. Teague was just in the right place at the right time. Teague's having a whale of a game. Got 18 points. Hamer. Heck of a half for Kyrie Hamer. Did not score in the first half. That that three point shot from the corners is going to be open against the 1 3 1. Hamer did not play the last two times these two teams played as Wanuck drives and draws a foul. Marcus Burke picks up his third foul. One up to the line. He's one for two from the free throw line today. One has got 11 points. You know, now uh, Asheville has outscored Campbell. I think 13 to five from the free throw line. That's a big difference. And we got three top notch officials calling this game today. Beauty, Gensler can shoot it. Whitfield. Shane Whitfield, who averages 12 a game, Ralph has not scored for Campbell today. And, and he's got he's had an uncanny knack for getting to the free throw line. He, he led the league this year in free throws made. He made, I think, 152 free throws, 74% shooter. He's a good passer in this Princeton-style offense. Into the shot clock. Clemens could not knock it down. Asheville to try to get this lead back up to two possessions. Good well, not pass. great pass to Weeks. And that's just good offense right there. Great ball movement. Boy, Weeks caught that squared up, found the open guy. That's good stuff. Alec Wanuck has been a difference maker off the bench. He really has. He really has. He plays hard. They all play hard. Wanuck had nine games in double figures in the regular season. And they played 31. He's in double figures today. Again, yeah, here's that 1-3-1. One, one. They'll extend it as far out as they can. And look how far away from the basket Campbell is right now. And it's Teague up top. Clemens. A deep three. Good play by Venata to tip it there to his teammate. Thomas, another great pass. Boy, all the loose balls right now going to Asheville. You're right. But look how Asheville shares the ball, Mike. 
Everybody touches it. Great ball movement. Teague on the drive. Pretty nice play by a freshman. Maceo Teague's now got 20 points. He's answered the bell today, the Big South freshman of the year. You know, he was really quiet early in the most of the first half. This is the largest lead of the second half. Weeks is going to be whistled for the foul, his first. Asheville going on a little bit of a run. Does Campbell have an answer? We'll find out in just a moment. Asheville's got three players in double figures, including their top freshman, Macy Oteague. Player, the uh, freshman of the year in the Big South, he's got 20, and he's done a little bit of everything. He's four of seven from the three-point line, four of four from the foul line. He's just a player, 20 points in 28 minutes. And Ralph, he's also their leading rebounder. He's got six. Unreal. What a freshman. There are a lot of, you know, uh, the commissioner, Kyle Kalander, talked about this at halftime. There are a lot of great young players in this league. Of course, Chris Clemens on the other side for Campbell. Clemens, and that breaks a big drought. Boy, they needed that bucket. Well, Clemens did. got 35 now. 35, one more, one more bucket. He's got the record in a single game for this tournament. Venata has his shot blocked by DeMontez Oliver. Whitfield at the other end, he still hasn't scored. Boy, they needed that bucket. I'll and, second and that's that. A, that's unlike Whitfield. He's he's a, been a good player for them. Just not having a day today. He's had a lot of turnovers. Yeah, he's got six turnovers. Tough shot. Boy, and off balance. Are you kidding? And that's Ahmad Thomas for you, leading scorer on this Asheville team. Wow. Starting to take charge a little bit. This is the largest lead of the second half. I think this is a danger time right here for Campbell. Yeah, big time danger time. This is a critical time. They need to keep it within a couple possessions because Asheville won't slow down. They will. They. They're as good as anybody at putting the pressure on you and extending leads, especially with that 1 3 1 defense. It's so hard. There we go. So, what do you do? You give it to Chris Clemens, who Ralph Patterson, I think, just set a record. He did. The record was 36 points in a single game in the Big South tournament. It now belongs to Mr. Clemens. Wow. What a show he's put on. That's a big stop for Campbell. This is a one possession game, a three to tie it. <laughs> but Look Clemens, at that. are oh you kidding? My. 
Oh! I thought, I thought he was going to dunk it. He, well, he wanted to, and he could do it. He does the spin move, getting ready to throw it down. We might hear Mike Hogwood's voice on Sports Center Top 10 plays again. Nah. Yeah. Wow. Clemens to tie the game. It seems like just a moment ago it was a six point Asheville lead. We're tied again. He's got 41, is all. One of the best performances, or I could say you could say the best awesome offensive performance in Big South tournament history being put on by that man, Chris Clemens, the sophomore from Raleigh. You think this might be our Pepsi play of the game? Chris Clemens, 41 points. Watch this. Oh. <laughs> and one. He converted the three free throw, and we are tied at 67. Well, Mike, I told you he could also dunk on you, and uh, I still think we'll see one from him. He's got 543 to go to do it. Hey, we got us a ball game, Mike Hogwood. Yeah, we do. All tied up. And Clemens with 41 of the 67 Campbell points. Remember, Clemens did not play the last time these two teams met. Only game he's missed all year. Robertson to Wanuck. Against Whitfield. Uni the rebound. That's a big one. Campbell could take the lead on this possession. Think it's going up? I do. He wanted the foul. He yelled at Dave Davis. That was. Well, they're letting him play. Exactly. Under five minutes to go here. Weeks going to be fouled by Whitfield. Again, really good interior passing by Asheville. Nice little high-low action there. There's a look at Coach McGee. Here's Ahmad Thomas. Thomas doesn't have great numbers today, but he's had an impact on the game. That bad pass over and back to turnover will give it to Campbell. It's only the seventh turnover of the game for Asheville. Yeah, they've had a really a, a clean game uh, offensively. But again, Campbell now with the ball and a chance to take the lead. Clemens open for three. Got it. <laughs> Campbell takes the lead. Wow. Wow. 44 for Clemens. Wanuck answers over Udy. Wanuck having a good game. Yeah, the Campbell Camels, the seven seed, bidding for an upset. 4-10 left.
Well, time to take a look at today's spirited fan of the game presented by Spirit Communications. And it's good to see that there's a number of people. Those are uh, Kyrie Hamer's family right there. Hamer's on the bench with some ice on his shoulder, but they're still cheering on these Campbell Camels. Nonetheless, looks like we're going to have a great finish here. Absolutely, we're going to. Campbell leads with the ball. Clemens, most outstanding offensive performance in the history of the Big South Tournament today. And he's open again. That's trouble. Wow. Clemens now has eight three-point field goals, 47 points. <laughs> That's now a Big South Conference scoring record. We've never had 47 scored in a Big South game before. Wow. Clemens, shot was blocked by Thomas, but he's going to be whistled for the foul. And that is his fourth personal foul. Here's the drive. And Thomas got ball with a lot of body there, too. He's having a conversation with official Mike Eads. And I thought it was a good call. Yeah. Well, he's not going to win that conversation either. <laughs> well, he's been money from the free throw line today. Perfect. Five for five. He's got 49 points. Well, as we told you before, the last time a number seven beat a number two, it was in overtime two years ago. Robertson fouled on the way up. Under three minutes left and a two possession lead right now for Campbell. You know, I, I didn't think that was going to happen in the first half when Nashville had a 14 point lead. Now I'm just going to say this, but. I, Obviously, this game is a long way from over, but if Campbell should pull off the upset, I still think, and we talked at halftime about RPI and how high they were for both Asheville and Winthrop, that uh, Asheville is good for an at-large bid in the NIT for sure. And, and I think they will. I think they'll, they'll get in. But this game, as we said, is a long way from over. That's right. Four-point Campbell lead. Clemens Whitfield again he has not scored today. Clemens is open. Good recovery by Ahmad Thomas. Look at that. And Clemens drying driving and drawing the foul. <laughs> you know you just said somebody was open and they got to be really open right now uh, for Clemens to give it up. I want the ball in his hands. Clemens is an 82% free throw shooter. Today, he is six for six from the line. <laughs> He's got 51 points. 51 points! Yeah. What a performance. For Chris Clemens. What a performance. been a long time since I've seen this kind of an offensive performance. And now if you're Asheville, you've really got to dig deep. You're down six, two minutes left. Well, you do, and, and Campbell's feeling the victory, too. So the it's tightening up a little bit at the Asheville end. And, and, and Clemens and Campbell starting to taste victory. Campbell beat Presbyterian on Tuesday. Set a school record for block shots and steals in that game. Beat Radford last Saturday in the last regular season game. That's a shot clock violation. But that's okay. They did not turn it over. 
You know, so missed shot, violation there, but at least it, there wasn't a steal and a run out and an easy bucket for UNC Asheville. Now Campbell can set their defense and go to work, make Asheville earn it. Wow. Big bucket by Robertson. And that's a huge basket by Robertson. Remember, Kevin Banana didn't play any the first half, only a little bit this half, so they're without one of their glue guys. Big play by Robertson. Clemens going to drive again. Oh, Not that time when Wanaku has been so big today. Down with the rebound. A three would tie it. Moment ago, Asheville was down six. This is a tough team, and they believe. Under a minute. Loose ball to Robertson. His three, a little short. And Campbell's up with it. Again, under a minute to play. Got the stop they needed. The Camels will take their time. <laughs> and they got the ball in the hands of Mr. Clemens. Uh-oh. What a matchup. 20-second differential in the uh, shot clock and game clock, 21 to be exact. And with 10 seconds on the shot clock, Kevin McGeehan, I think he wants to make sure they get in a good offensive set to run a play. Well, absolutely right, Mike. And, and there's just 10 seconds on the shot clock here when they inbound it. So, hey, what do you say we make our uh, – Hardy's star of the game, Chris Clemens. I, I'm sorry I didn't ask you for your vote. No, I, but I, I, I knew I knew what it was going to be. I second that motion. Okay, good. He is our Hardy star of the game. He's got 51 points, eight threes, seven for seven from the free throw line. Wow. What a day! What a what a game! And this is again an all-time record in the Big South. And all, and also against the best defensive team in this league now. Next game, we've got Liberty, who is very, very good defensively, but but much different. They play that pack line defense, make you shoot it from the outside, nothing to the rim. Asheville, with their changing defenses and the 1-3-1, one, one, they have not found a way to stop Clemens. And I don't know how you stop him unless you just don't let him get the ball. Ten seconds left on the shot clock. You know they've designed a play to get the ball in Clemens' hands. Well, first, get him the ball. Get the ball inbound safely. That's the most important thing. And then let him do his thing. They don't want to foul because it's just a one-possession game. So, And again, that was Campbell's last timeout. 31 seconds left. 10 on the shot clock. And they get it into Clemens. He's going to have to hurry. Doesn't seem to be rushed at all. He's going to drive. Missed it, but the follow by Udy. What a huge follow shot by Udy. Unbelievable. There's a block. Teague's going to go to the free throw line, but there are 15 seconds left. How big was this by the 6'7 Andrew Udy? It was huge. Thomas didn't block him out, and Udy. Gets the bucket. Teague, again, a great free throw shooter at 88%. Number two in the league to the line. I think he makes this. Asheville's going to have to foul. 15 seconds left. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. You know, they'll go for the steal immediately. And then they have no choice. And if you're Campbell, you want the ball in the hands of number three if you can. Vanetta is on him. There's a foul. And Clemens, an 82% free throw shooter, will be going to the line with 14 seconds left. Wow, unbelievable. They tried to deny him the ball. They wanted the ball in anybody's hands other than number three. <laughs> But give Campbell some credit. Well, and, and he started at the elbow and, and had plenty of room to, to get open. He's pretty quick. Remember I said he's the fastest guy in the country from end to end. Pretty, pretty tough to stop this guy. Oh, and he missed it. 
The door is open. Got a three chance to tie. tie. And a deep three from Teague. Way well, maybe been too deep. May have taken that shot a little quick. And then Robertson fouled on the rebound. A three to tie, and Teague, who is a freshman, maybe took that a little quick and a little too deep. Marcus Burke will come to the other end, and I think a free throw here ices the game for Campbell. Well, the, it, it would sure help. No, I think it ices it. It's yeah. <laughs> How's this for March Madness, Mike? I love it. I do, too. Now both teams are out of timeouts. Just under five seconds left. This official score book now says Asheville does have a timeout. Well, and as they walked to the line last time, they talked about calling a timeout. Burke is three for three from the line today. The freshman from Indianapolis. I really believe if he makes one here, he seals it. Makes it a two possession lead. That's bigger than big. Campbell today, Ralph, 11 for 12 from the free throw line. <laughs> Pretty good. That is very good. It's been a big key. I think that might do it. Asheville's at the buzzer. They hit the three. I think they're going to have to go to the uh, the scores table now to see when that bucket went in. They probably will. It says point six. It looks like it was about a second left, but how big were the free throws? Yeah. It's 81 79. If you're Campbell, basically all you got to do now is get the ball in bounds. Just just almost touch it, you know, and and, and if, if you are UNC Asheville, it would have to be a, a catch and shoot in one motion just to get a shot attempt. Let's take a look at the clock. We'll see it. That's a great shot by our crew. Bucket 1.6. One, it looks like, yeah, 1.6, 1.5, somewhere in there. It went in. And that's a lot more time than 0.6. <laughs> that's time for a deflection, a grab, and a shot. Again, great effort by our crew to get this shot. 1.7. And our crew led by Mike Eads reviewing it to make sure we get the right time on there. So it is going to be 1.5, I believe. Yes. Wow. And again, Mike. 1.5 is a lot more than 0.6. So that's time for a deflection, a grab, and a shot. Well, if you get a steal, you got time to get a shot. You do. You do. So if you're Campbell, draw up the play for me, Coach. What do you got to do to get the ball in bounds? Do you throw it long? Well, you might. You don't, uh, you don't want to throw it near Asheville's basket. So you'll notice Campbell spread out. Let's get it to Clemens. There we go. Got it in. And a foul. So rule number one, get the ball in bounds, and they did. Well, you got to go with me now. These two free throws, game over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's one and one. Should they miss, there's time for a prayer. For a heave. A quick heave. And how about this? Whitfield at the line is not scored today. There's the heave, and there is the upset. Wow. Unreal. Welcome to March. Welcome to March Madness, and 
thank you, Mr. Clemens, for dropping 51 on the UNC Asheville Bulldogs. Chris Clemens, a performance that uh, those who witness it will not soon forget. I won't forget 51 points, and the number seven seed has upset the number two seed. Campbell moves on and will play the winner of Liberty and Radford tomorrow at 6 o'clock. How about that? What a game. Folks, the rest of the tournament's like this. <laughs> it's going to be something special. Liberty and Radford, we will have that game for you. But for now, for Ralph Patterson and our entire crew, Mike Hogwood here saying so long for now from the Big South Tournament at Winthrop University in Rock Hill, South Carolina. What a win by Campbell, 81-79 over UNC Asheville.